In this tutorial, we're going to look at points and rubrics within a team's assignment. So underneath your add resources, you're going to see the points. If you leave this blank, that means your assignment will not have a point value and thus um, will not necessarily be graded within teams. Now, obviously, you could still review the work um, and, and, and score it and put those scores in your official gradebook in your student information system. Um, but it is it is helpful to provide a point value, especially if you're using a rubric, right? So let's say I have a four point rubric, I can give this total point value of four. Now, <clears throat> when it comes to rubrics, you if you already have a rubric that you like to use, you can go up here to your add resources and you can upload the rubric from your device from your computer, um, or maybe it's in your OneDrive, you can upload, find the rubric in your OneDrive and attach it there. Um, so that's one way to, to share your rubric with the class. But I also wanted you to know that within Teams, there's actually a rubric builder. So if you don't have a rubric and want to put one together, you can click Add Rubric here. And you can uh, take a look at some or actually, you're going to see these are actually existing rubrics that I created here in Teams. And so I can pull up previous rubrics that I worked on. Let's see what one of these looks like. Okay, so there it is. Um, but you can also start a brand new rubric. And when you do that, you get this form. You get to title it up here. You get to provide a description if you'd like. Then um, here's where you actually fill out the details of the rubric. So across the top, I have my spectrum, excellent, good, average, fair. And this could be your one through four scores. And then you are outlining what they need, students need to do to get those scores. And so that's all in there. This is, this is really nice to have because it stores them. Um, and you can have you can expand your rubric by adding more um, more layers, and so this is a really nice built-in rubric tool. So if I want to use this rubric for this uh, assignment, I'm just going to go ahead and attach it. And the other thing I need to do is provide a point value here for the rubric. So I'm going to go back into that and. Uh, turn the points on there. So edit and turn on the points. There we go. So this one happens to be a, a five point rubric, but um, you get the idea here. So I'm going to update this. Um, oh, and this one had a hundred point uh, value. So we're going to go back to, we'll go to five since that was a five point rubric. All right. So that is how you work with points and rubrics in a team's assignment.